Here I want to talk about a concept that you already encountered when we did the first question, which is the difference between a conditional claim and a factual claim. Remember when we did the first question, I said you could eliminate two of those answers real quick because the conclusion was a factual claim, yet the answer was a conditional, the two answers were conditional claims. Right, so here I just want to reiterate that point. This is a crucial difference. I mean, if you look at this claim versus these claims here, guess they kind of sound similar. If you go home, then you can play with dog, right? Uh, the dog doesn't have an, it's just dog. Um, here, this claim says you went home, you play with dog. Now, yeah, on the surface, these two claims do sound similar. They use a lot of the same words, but there's a crucial difference, and it's a huge difference, okay? Which is that in this world, I know you actually went home and you actually played with dog. I know, who, whose dog did you play with? Um, but in this world, I have no idea where you are, what you are doing, who you're, what you're playing with, if you're playing at all. I don't know because it's just a conditional claim. This world is just saying, if this were to happen, then this were to happen versus in this world, these are factual claims. You did go home. You did play with your dog. All right. That's a huge difference. Now, if the conclusion is some kind of factual conclusion saying, you know, you went home, you played with your dog, you're not going to summarize that by giving me a conditional claim because, again, there's a vast world of difference between these two claims. So hopefully that should be obvious by now. And we'll see this play out along with the other concepts that we've uh, previously discussed in the next question.